So welcome everyone. Thank you so much for coming and getting a kit. Uh, this is our first time trying out doing um, an art activity for Olive Connect and Create using a kit, kit that was brought to you by three blissful creations. Now, Aisha Chaudhry is the person who started this small business. A little bit about her. She started, this is what she says about herself, okay? Crafting is not only art, but therapy for me. What started out as a hobby soon turned into a small business. I'm blessed to be able to stay at home mom and be a mompreneur and it's never late, too late to do what you love. So she started this business, I would say, recently, fairly, uh, during the pandemic. Um, and she is doing what she loves. And all of you have this beautiful kit put together with literally everything you need for today. Uh, thank you so much, Aisha. And let's welcome Aisha. And oh, let me also point out, we have two young helpers in the audience today. Um, so let's do, let's see them. Aisha, that's Aisha, if you get a wave. And then who's our other young helper? Uh, we have Zoya. I have Zoya, but she's taking a quick break. <laughs> she okay, was taking a quick break. And I also wanted to po point out another helper is Asya Sinji. If you can wave, Asya, there you go. So they're all going to be doing the kit with you all. And without further ado, let's welcome Aisha, welcome. All right, so I'll come everybody. Wow. You guys um, understood my kit because um, it was a little bit complicated, but I tried to make it as simple. So this was your guys's flower that I gave you guys. Mm -hmm. So you will basically paint however, whichever color you want. You can use your own colors or the colors I provided, or you can even mix the colors. And we will, once we're done painting, it's on a sticky, you can take it off and put it on a mat. Um, I, Zoe actually has a wax paper that she's using as her mat. And once we're done painting, then we'll go ahead and put everything together and glue it on this. And I did include the little glue for you guys, but if this, if this doesn't work for you, then you're more than welcome to use any glue, basically. That will, um, that anything won't work. So the first thing you want to do is the paint goes a long way because this is, um, it's Baltic birch wood and it absorbs wood. So even um, this paint pot that we gave you guys, what you guys want to do is pour some of it on a plate. I already have it poured out like this. So like my white. If you just take the white this much and just dab it until just a little, I don't know if you guys can see this, little goes a long way. You don't need much because it absorbs pretty well. And it's up to you how, how opaque or how, how strong of a paint you would like. So first, do you want them to put the paint yeah. in the plate? So whatever color you would want your round to be, usually white is the best because it, it does pop the colors out more, but it's up to you whatever color you would like to make your base. So your first would be coloring the round. And if you get paint on the sides, don't worry about it. You can literally take um, a baby wipe or um, a paper towel with, uh, with uh, rubbing alcohol and just clean this up. This is, this is when I cut it on my laser machine, it, this is the actual cut. It, you don't need to paint this. I mean, you, you can, it'll just absorb a lot, but you don't have to. So if you can pour the white out on the plate and then just dab it. And Aisha, if they want to go for the wood look, they can. Skip you can the totally leave a natural. Yes. Yeah. You can leave an option. Okay. Yeah. Are we coloring the whole thing? It's up to you. However, you want to do it. You can leave it. You can blend in colors. Um, you can put pink up there, white up there and blend it. You can leave it natural. You can paint it white. You can, you can go dark if you would like with the, with the black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you guys, the easiest would be either go natural or choose one color and fill it up, I think. So go ahead and start doing that. And 
and it dries very fast. So you don't have to worry about it making a mess. So Aisha, you said you used your laser cutter for this? Yeah, I have a laser, uh, a wooden laser cutter slash engraver that I was able to get my hands on during the pandemic. Uh -huh. And uh, that's what I usually use to cut out a lot. I do have the other machine that cuts vinyl, but um, yeah, this, this was, this is way better. Like I can create anything like um, some of you guys have the bismillah and you know, anything that's wooden, I can cut out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions? What colors is everyone choosing? Can you share? White. White? Okay. White, yes. I'm just leaving it uh, natural. Natural. Okay, that's fine. Yes. I'm using white. White. I'm doing white. You're doing white? Okay. Mm -hmm. And if the sponge doesn't work, and if you guys have a wider paintbrush, you can always use that too. Sponge, sponge is doing good. Okay. So it is it's easy, right? Yeah, it's easy. Mm -hmm. So this is acrylic paint that you gave everyone, Aisha? Yeah, it's acrylic outdoor gloss paint. Okay. Okay. Why does it look wet in the middle? Did you put water in it? No, 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 I'm, I'm still on mine. Yeah. No, I haven't gotten to the middle yet. I'm starting from the outside in. Okay. Oh, 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 that's natural. Okay, got yeah. it. And the lighter hand, you see, I, I think I'm, I'm doing it too, too um, I'm putting too much pressure. So you'll see how it's splotchy. But if you just really just dab lightly, it doesn't leave the crease, the creases of the sponge. How many of you are planning to do the activity with family members as well? With like grandchildren, anyone? I am doing. Okay, that's good. You got an, uh, You got some extra kids. I like that idea. Yeah, on Sunday, them and their friends are getting together and doing it. Very nice. Yeah. Very so nice. I, I, I may not complete mine because uh, I have two granddaughters and two of their friends, so. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have them follow this video once okay. you post. Oh, okay. That's great. But I'm just watching the whole thing so that, you know, I can guide them. And I yeah. gave you guys a small piece of really fine um, sandpaper, just in case if you see that, you know, I don't know if you guys could see this. There's a little bit of grit right here. Mm -hmm. So you can literally, after painting, sand it with that really fine, and then it'll it'll stay. The paint will stay, but the uh, the little grains will be gone, or the little pop ups. Did okay. you give them a sandpaper piece? Yeah, I did. It's it just wow. just need a very small piece. You need very right. nice. You have it. You so think. organized. Wow. Yeah. So much details, right? <laughs> so many little details. Yeah. So Aisha, what type of wood is this that we're using? This is, you know what? I believe this is not Baltic. This is maple. It's maple, um, maple plywood. Basically two thin pieces compressed with the MDF core. So that's why you'll never see the middle because it's really compressed together. Mm. That's why it's light. If I did real wood, it would be heavy. It would be right here. And as you can see, like I got it on the side, just need to take um, hand sanitizer. I think even everybody has that. And if you take hand sanitizer and rub this, it comes right off the head. Okay. 
I didn't get it on the edge, so I'm good. Sinep, I may need to order two more. Sinep, I may need to order two more. Oh, you want to order more kits? Okay. Yes, please. Thank okay. you. Two more. Well, that's very nice of Aisha. She's offered to make kits for us. So it makes uh, it so easy. It does. It does. <laughs> I have my kit, Zena, but I'm sorry I'm not making it. <laughs> Why? Why? Because I'm distracted. <laughs> oh no, you shouldn't be. Come on. We 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 made sure that you get to be your creative self. Remember you wanted that as a goal. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I have at 1:30. I understand. This is, this is soothing therapy time before it was at 1.30. <laughs> A good lunch in between. Yes. <laughs> wow, that dried so fast. Wow. Right. Right. So who's doing it live other than Zoya, Aisha, and um, doing I'm, it. I'm, I'm doing it. Oh yes, Asma and Zarina and Sophia, Sister Sophia. Hey, I'm doing mine later because I want to take oh. my Oh yeah, you want to take your time. And Sister <laughs> Haikika, how are you? It's been a while. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum. I'm good. Alhamdulillah. Okay. I sent you a text message. Did you get it about a few days ago? A few days ago, yes. It's been so crazy since then. Okay, I no apologize. Problem. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Excuse me. I just joined. Do we take the white from the bigger container, the white one? This one? Yes. Yes. Okay. And you want to pour it? Or any side you can of the pour. board? Any side of the board? Uh, yes. Any, well, you'll, you'll notice that on one side, there's like a, a little it's a crease. But either way, you can use any one of those sides. It's good. Uh, one one side got might got have beautiful grains on it. I, yeah, it I don't know if you guys can see, like, if I did this, there's, this is my other side. It has lines. Uh -huh. Oh, the grains, the grains are there. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I want ladies uh, the one thing I did not include is scissors so once we're done with the white you can literally just slice off the sponge because oh, okay. the white or wash it either or it will retain it or use the paintbrush Okay. Have some water. <laughs> so in this group, I just have orders for two from Zarina. Is that it? I want two, please. Yes. Okay. And I'd like two, please, as well, inshallah. Okay. I'll coordinate with you guys later, okay? Okay, doke. I think I gave you guys extra sponges, correct? I think, I think yes, yes. Pretty, we okay. have extra sponges. Okay. What's okay. your box? Thank you. The paint has to be used direct or do you dilute it? No, you just put it on the plate and then just um, here. Like if you have it on your, if when you pour it on your plate, I mean, just imagine if this was a full sponge, you dab your sponge okay. and then you just right. take off as much as possible. Okay. And then okay. you got it. Got it. Another one is if you haven't painted your round yet, you can actually stain it too. It's pretty easy to stain 
if you would like to do natural, like darker stain. If I use the stain, do I need to prime it or without priming? No, without priming. Okay. No, yes. So stain is not one of these uh, little... No, 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 stain, but if no. I was scared. I was worried it might make a mess if it opened accidentally. It, it's very yeah. runny. So do we have to do two coats? I'm just at the first one because I joined late. Okay. No, it's up to you. If you, if mine is just one coat, it looks like a whitewash. It's up to mm. you. If you want more dark, then you can do another. It dries pretty quickly, so you can, you have time. <laughs> All right. Do another coat, you know, then it becomes... I'm going to mute you. Is that you, Serena? Somebody has a gardener. <laughs> <laughs> In case. All right, much better. Zena, what were the choices? With the welcome and one was salam, what were the other choices? Bismillah, welcome, and salam. And one, one Oliver requested a special one. She requested Eid Mubarak, so we made a custom one for her. Um, she's not here today at the session. She's going to check out the recording. So that was another option that was added later on. Um, uh -huh. Uh, but yeah, Aisha suggested the good thing about the three words where they were like a one cut. The Eid Mubarak was two words, so you have to fit yeah. it in. Um, but yeah, welcome, Bismillah, or yeah, see the Eid Mubarak, and it's it was more fragile too. It, oh but, yeah, yeah. So so for the ones who are ordering now, that is an option for you if you want to do Eid Mubarak. Um, but. Yeah, it's welcome, bismillah, or salam with two A's. Do, can you resend the, the invitation with those? Because I want to send it to my daughters, to my grandchildren for them to pick. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Wh which one are you making today, Aisha? I'm doing Eid Mubarak. You're doing Eid Mubarak. Okay. Yeah. Actually, can you, by any chance, could you do the other one? Is that possible or you don't have them? I have a Bismillah one. Okay. I could okay. do it. Actually, it's up to you. I'm going to leave it up to you. Well, Zoya, Zoya took the Bismillah. Okay. Okay. So we have two pictures. That's good. I wanted to see different pictures of the ones we have. So that's good. Zora, Zoya is doing one, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. As long as we get to see her do one. Perfect. And Asiya, what, which one do you have? I have the Salam. You have the Salam. Perfect. So we get to see those how they look and our Olivers can decide which one they want. All right, I think we, are we all good? Can we move forward guys? I'm yeah. trying to figure out how the stand works. So Sorry. obviously oh, I'm just creative. Yeah. What is the second step after we paint the book? The after you're done with the, was this white one, your second step will be, it's this, it's this. What I did, um, so I gave it to you guys on a sticky paper. If you can very carefully peel it off. Once you peel it, you will see the little pieces should stick, should stay. And then once you peel this, you'll get this effect. Wow. So you'll see there's two sides. One side has a lot of char because that's when the laser is cutting it. It, um, it hits from the bottom up. So that's not the side we want to use. We want to use the one that's, that's less. Like this one, you'll see how it's more cleaner. But if I was to turn the other side, it's it's not uh, the other side is not very pretty. It's more like this. So. And this one, once again, um, the interpretation was this: this will be 
black. And once you put it on here, it'll pop up more. So if you guys would like, you can go ahead and start on this one. Did so what, what paints are you using, Aisha? What colors are you choosing? I'm going to do this one in black. All in of black. it? This whole thing will be black. Okay. And then when you put these other puzzle pieces back in, they will be different colors, like pink or red. Oh, I see, I see. So the outline will be black, basically. Oh, I That's why I included the green, too, if you guys want to do the green. Oh, uh -huh. very smart. So however, whatever, whatever color you would like. That's a good idea. Okay, so everyone take out their in-between okay. pieces. Those little pieces. Okay. Yeah, and then the outline is all black. Okay. That's smart. So much easier. Imagine having to draw this. <laughs> that would not be <laughs> I find it beautiful the way it is. It is. It's really pretty. Yeah, yeah, if you guys like a natural look, you can keep it as simple as you would like. But yeah, if you want to match it with your decor, then add the color. That's pretty. So nice. So we're going to be fitting those little pieces back in? Back in there. So we'll glue this on to our round when we're done. And then work on the little pieces, put glue behind those, and then just put them, and it should stick pretty well. That would be the hardest thing, I guess, of this project. <laughs> yeah, there's a little, there's one teeny tiny little piece mm. in there, but. So don't lose them, guys. <laughs> it's motor skills right there. <laughs> you see your motor skills. Mm -hmm. Auntie, when you said it looks nice the way it is, I have a feeling you might not do this right. You'll be like, I'll just do it out the way it is. No, I, I, I love the natural color and the way, it, you know, the dark brown and that looks. Yeah, it does. I like that char color that the laser brin brings. Yeah, it looks actually it's green, beautiful right? the way it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Then, uh, when, yes. when, we remove, uh, when I removed the paper, you know, the little pieces came off. Yes, so you, you work on those pieces after. So it, that, that's what it's supposed to do. The, the paper is supposed to hold on. So like. Oh, it should... So those have to be collected. I thought that, we, that were just extras that were falling okay. out. You can you pop those out. You see. Okay. And from the back side, do we so color it from like the back side? Easy. So it's easier for you guys to kind of puzzle it back. See, if, if you just did that. Oh my, what had to be done? I don't know what, what was the second step that has the, has this, this piece of paper to be removed uh, uh, from the- Remove this main, this, this, this piece right here. You're right. And then you paint it whatever color you would like if you want a dark green, black. Okay. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Wow. So, the On black any side, on any side or just the it, back side? It, yeah, no, there's one side that has a lot of burn marks. If yes. you'll see, you don't want that side. That side you'll glue against the grain. So right. the, the one with the less, less. Yes, the brighter side. The brighter side. Okay. So, we just put it all over, the, over the paper on which it was sticking or any, other, any, any plate? Any plate. And we use black for it? You can use the, uh, you can do the green. Um, you could mix the black and the green if you want to make it more. I, I like black. I like the way the black comes out. The black mm -hmm. looks nice if you want like a nice outline look. Yeah, because this is your flower. The, this part is your flower and this will be green. But this, the flower, um, so the leaves, sorry. The leaves will be green, but and the flower can be pink or red or the magenta color that we gave you in the kit. But right now we have to paint it all in black. Yes. Oh, and I got black on there, see? How's everyone doing, Sister Zarina? Doing good? 
Everyone okay? Yeah, you know, I was thinking this piece would look pretty gold. Oh, oh gold. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, especially, it, it, it also depends, yeah, on the kind of decor you're going for. If you want something more bright, like if you're doing it only for a party table, then yeah, something like that will look very elegant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, th these are the colors Aisha provided. If you want to do your own custom, you are well, more than welcome to get what you prefer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get you. Okay, you. Okay, Asia, can I see yours? Which part? The have you done the flower? Uh, the base? Uh, yeah, I did mine white, okay. and then I have blue and gold paint, so I just put a little bit of that on top. Okay. Go get day fix of it. Finish me done. So we're done. I, Aisha, I have a question. For yes. the board, did you use the, the sandpaper to, uh, yes. to clean it? Yeah. So, so because the surface is not all that smooth, there are some little. Okay. little yeah. So once you paint, you can actually take the sandpaper and go over it. And very mm -hmm. lightly, and it will take it will make it smooth because I think it's about four hundred grit. So it's a very um, it will it will it will smooth it out really fast. Okay, my hands are I have to wash my hands because they're black. You know, okay. you'll get paint on your hands. Believe me. Yeah. Yes, I know, but I don't mind that. But by, by, by using the sandpaper on the white surface, might stain it. I'm a little. Um. <laughs> Yeah, like I, okay, so I have I got black on it. If I and if you get any other color, it should take it off. It should, but you know, it's, this one's not that rough. We don't have that big one. We have just a little. Uh, yeah, little, little, little one. Yeah, my daughter. I told her to get it, and she got me this block instead. <laughs> But the 400 is what you want because it gives it a smoother finish. This was really rough. So now this is all rough. Okay. And if you have baby wipes, it helps to take the paint off your hands. It helps a lot. Baby wipes. Uh, Lysol wipes, any one of those, Clorox, takes the paint right off. To the leaf. My hobbies is to learn to do the leaf. Oh, this is going to be challenging, the little... Yeah. <laughs> Looking at it, yes. So what is the next step? The next step is for you guys to find your little leaf pieces. Um, so they're supposed to go in there. They're like the skinny, pulling them out right oh, now. Thank God I didn't throw them away. I thought that was the extra. <laughs> but how do we know where it goes so the best thing would be to open up your guys's glue now you guys can poke the hole in it i i think for me it's easier to um, set up the base first rather than working on it so i'll take it off this is my base i will glue this If you guys can see, I'm not going to glue it right on the edge, but I'm going to try to do as as close. 
So do we have a, uh, uh, the glue in the kit or we use up? Yes, whatever. I gave it to you guys. It's this little teeny tiny super glue. Okay. If when you uh, screw the red thing on, it punches a hole in it. And then all you want to do is just, just put the glue. You don't have to put it everywhere as long as it's on the main pieces and it'll stay. How do you pierce the thing? When you, when you tighten the red cap on there, you'll hear a little pop and that's okay. This is a one-time use. Okay. So I would put it on the the. Be careful, guys! It's super glue. Don't glue your fingers. Yes, please. And do. you and you uh, uh, and you cut, uh, uh, snip the little top uh, uh, on no, the front. There is a little hole. I don't know if okay. you can see the liquid. It'll come out of that. Oh, there's already a hole. Yeah. The little pollen thing, you might, you might want to put it on there because it'll help it stick. And please try to use it in a ventilated area. It is very fumey. And once you put this down, it's stuck. So you have to be very careful where you want to place it on the round and how you want to place it. Ooh, my hand is stuck. Great. Yeah, don't get your fingers. <laughs> yeah, it's already stuck to my fingers if you get scared. <laughs> now you have to just hold it. and if you get glue residual on the on the round you can, what delicate garment. you can um, take a q-tip and acetone and it will take the glue off without taking the paint off so i have glued mine on Oh, beautiful. Oh, that looks really nice. So this will help guide to see where's the petal versus where's the leaf and what color it should be. So technically there are three, three leaves, right? Three leaves. No, one, one, two, three, four. Oh, four leaves. Okay. Four. Is a &M. Yes. I figured out how the thing stands. <laughs> <laughs> That's been my accomplishment. The engineer in you, or, you know, wanted to figure that out, huh? The pseudo engineer in me. The pseudo engineer in you. Yeah. So I've done something. I figured that out. Uh huh. Oh, Sister Zarina, let me see. Hang on. Let me put the spotlight on you. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at that. That looks really nice. Very nice. Anybody else want to share their success? So you, now your hands will get really dirty with paint, unless you want to wear gloves. It's up to you guys, but the paint will come off. It washes right off the skin when you're doing the leaves, because this is very tiny. Has everyone glued on their, on their, um, the main thing, the main part? Asya, did you do it? Yeah. Okay. Can I see yours, Asya? Beautiful. Good job.
All right. Should we move on to the leaf now? The leaf yes. painting? Let's do it. So you can do however, whatever works for you. If you want to hold it or if you would like to put it down on that sticky paper that I gave you. If, um, yeah. What do we do next? On your leaf. So you can either leave it on the sticky paper. I'm sorry, so I can have that. You could leave it on, you could put it on here and then do it, or you could just hold it in your hands. Um, if you don't mind getting your fingernails dirty. Now, how do we know which is a leaf? So if you look at it this way, on this right here, this is a leaf. This is a leaf right here. The, okay. This is, there's two flowers. So the, when the end product, it will look like this. Oh. Can everybody see? That? Yeah. If you there's keep it four there, then you can, that would be a guide. So the, there are four, three oh. leaves. Oh, three leaves. There are should be four, four leaves. Four. Four, four yes. The so two small ones are also leaves over there. Okay. Four leaves. The super thin, the super thin and long wooden pieces are the leaves. Oh, oh, that's a smart idea. The way you made it stand. Good job. Using a paint bottle? <laughs> yes. All right. So here we go. So like I painted this green. I didn't keep them. I didn't keep it all together. It's all over the place. So now it's a puzzle. Trying to figure out where it fit. So we paint right both here. the sides of the leaves because you don't know which is the front yeah. and the... You will know. You will know that the the more cleaner side is the leaf side is is what you need to um, paint. paint. You okay. see how this is charred. This is charred. Uh, let me give you the example. You you'll see the difference. Like this is the side that we glue onto the board, versus this side. It's clean. Okay. There you go. Found it. But I have it. You can um, once you're done painting, you can either paint them all or do it one at a time and then glue it in place. You know, we need more time to do this actually. Yes. It's a very. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces we need. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. I don't have seven, eight pieces. Very good. I show you the phone has um, the lock screen, I think. So if you want to remove it, it's okay. I think you're good. I'm good? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need eight pieces for leaves, I think. I'm yes. not getting the eight. Maybe this is this tiny little thing might be one. They're no the, for the leaves. You they're pretty much the same. They're big. You see, they're like little swirls. There are some extra pieces also, like uh, those are for the flowers. This this was a hard part. Yes, it is a hard part. So I think the the most easiest part is like when you're removing from the sticky part, let the piece of, in between pieces stay on the sticky paper. I think that would help a little bit. Yeah, I, I, will, I will remove one leaf at a time and do it. Yeah, yeah when you, especially yeah. when you're doing it with children, I think maybe. And by the way, you do not have to finish this activity while in session if you if you're feeling overwhelmed don't overwhelm yourself um, do at least a little bit so that you know what you're doing and then you can do the rest now which green are the leaves the darker or the lighter green it's up to you if you would like to go dark or if you would like to do two-tone like having uh, the top one dark and the bottom one light it's up to you okay. this guy is not closing
So we need to use sponge to paint? You can use a sponge or you can, you can use the brush that I gave you guys. Sponge just absorbs better and application-wise goes a lot smoother. You can do the brush. So I'm, I'm actually, I've started to glue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's no rush. <laughs> no rush. No rush. If you want to take a deep breath, it's okay. <laughs> you know, once you put one or two together, then it gets a little faster and then you, then it's just, it moves. moves yes. And after this is like one more color and it's the petals, right? Pretty much. Yes. Yeah. So it's not too bad. And if, if you see that there's some white coming through, like it's not dark enough, you can always, um, you can actually even use Crayola markers to color the wood. Or you can take the brush over and, uh, you know, touch up if you need Good to. Good idea. Good idea. Yeah, when I do this for the little kids, I usually give markers because markers are easier for the, for the little five and under. That's yeah, right. You should have, you should have got markers for us also. <laughs> <laughs> that, would have, that would have solved so much. No, but, but what, what's craft without a little bit of a challenge, right? Yes, and, I think, yes. and I think the sponge was a very smart idea because it, it really is very easy and foolproof. Like you can, anybody can do it kind of thing. Yeah, yeah see, beautiful project. Sponge it in there. is, right? I know. I can't wait to see everyone's finished product. You know what I did? I put the leaves in. You know, we have to fit it at the right place and painted it over there only. Yeah, you can do that too. That's another. Yeah. Because all of them don't go in. <laughs> they, they, they don't they fit in. You know what? You will have, it's like a Cinderella slipper. You will have to try on <laughs> That's right. Good fit. But it should, it, should, it should all fit together. Instead of 12 midnight, 12 noon is what you have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Once you're done with the leaves, the rest is all one color. So you'll be, it'll be much more easier. It's just like a puzzle piece then. Mm -hmm. oh. So how do you stand this after you get it all done? Is it made yeah, I, to just lean on something or what? I actually cut out a stand for you guys. Um, oh, okay. It just slides together and you uh -huh. can put it on top of that on the, on the stand. It's oh, okay, a great. Stand, but if you guys don't want the wooden stand, you guys get more than welcome to use like a plastic one or a acrylic one or, you know, the metal ones. But okay. I... I I included it for you guys. Thank you. you. Provided a stand too. Yeah. It's like a very put <laughs> all in one kit. Yeah. Anyone done with their leaves? One. Only one <laughs> leaf I've done. <laughs> so one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You're good. I can show you mine. Okay, let me see. Let me find you. Hang on. One second. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there you go. See? You did it. Move one leaf. Back. There you go. Good job. Good job. Yes, one leaf. I did. Asya, are you done with your leaves? Yeah, let me see your progress. Stay there. Hang on. Beautiful. Nice. Great job. Thank you. Very good. Wait, I like your background. You did like a marble effect. What colors did you use? Um, I have uh, some gold and light blue paint, so I put that on there as well. I like that marble effect you have. Thank Very you. smart. <laughs> I like that creativity. Good job. And let me see Zoya's. I'm so curious to see Zoya. 
Zoya is working. She's once again, she went to go get me something. But she's always <laughs> sick on Zoya when she's gone. She's very slow. Like she wants to do it right. She never rushes. She takes. Okay, that's right. That's totally fine. Okay. So just being mindful of the clock so that we make sure we get all the instructions in. Um, it's 11.50 right now. So I think, Aisha, you can go ahead and start painting the others. Let's let's move on to the to the petal. Yes, go for it. Leaves are there. So the mm -hmm. petal is the same. You can pick whatever color petal you want. You can do two different pinks if you want, or all one pink, or a shade if you would like to do it. Um, here I will cut this. So this will be my petal. So this is my petal. Which one? Can you please uh, take yeah, it closer to the camera or so that? This is my pedal. Okay. okay. And you'll have that aha moment as soon as you, well, there you go. As soon as you <laughs> find this puzzle, it will fit in. There you go. Just like that. Mine's a little bright. Mm -hmm. And at this point, if you, you don't have to glue the petals on, you can actually, like I didn't glue mine. I stuck it in there just to see where it goes. If you just did this, well, it, sh it should come out. It should come out on its own. There you go. There you go. How do you cut it out? You know, it's so... It's a, I have a laser machine. It's very intricate. It can do very tiny, tiny, intricate, okay. not just by hand. So, okay. my first petal. Mm -hmm. What's the name of your machine? Um, a Glowforge. Glowforge, okay. There are many other pieces over here. I don't know where they're going. Uh, they're just they, from will, the, from they will all fit in. Let me let me show you. Like this, like this little piece, this little piece, this little triangle. Uh -huh. It will end up in here. It will eld end up in one of these. Okay. So go ahead and paint all of them. Just make sure you choose the side that is less charred. And yeah. I mean, the easiest way is choosing one color. If you want to go a little more fancy and do different shades, it still doesn't matter. It'll go, it'll go well together, I feel like, right? Once it's put together, even if it's right. shaded. Right. So now that you have put this on and you've glued it on, there's only one way to go about it. So this little piece... Although it's double-sided, I can't even put that in because the it won't allow me to. It will only go the right way in that it's supposed to mm. because it's been cut. You've already, you know, there. If I try to flip it and do it, it will not go in. Example, like this is the right way. This is the, the glue side down. I can't even put it on. It won't even allow me to. Right. It will only allow me to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. Right way in. Yes, and you have to, those three little pieces, uh, four little pieces are the little ones that. Do you want to go ahead and show the rest so that yeah. we see the finished product and then we'll. Right. And then it's very simple. So now that you guys put the, put the leaf in, you guys can put your sign. This was the Eid Mubarak. Oh, this is beautiful. You will paint this. Once again, dab it whichever color you want. You can use your own. Glue it on. So there's the salam, the bismillah, Eid Mubarak. This Eid Mubarak was my first prototype. That's why the little dot's not connected. But the one I made for the person who ordered, it's connected. So you don't lose it. It's less pieces. Mm-hmm. 
And then the stand part. Yeah. So here's my stand. The, these are the two pieces of stand. You can only go the right. Oh, Zoya didn't get the right stand. Okay. But. <laughs> Sorry, just one second. This is two of the same side. So you guys have your stand. If you guys see it visually, this is this is not the right way, but it will literally just slide in like that. It will slide in all the way. So it becomes like this. You guys see that? Yes. I see yours, Zarina and Tammy. Yes. Let me spotlight you, Zarina, to stay there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Good job. There you go. You can also paint your stand if you if you guys don't like the natural look, because one side does have the the char. Mm -hmm. And then the wooden piece will very easily just stick on the stand on both sides. I, for some reason, have the wrong stand. No, you can't find it. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But the whole, yeah, we got it. And if you hold it like this, you can make the stand as wide or as, it has a little bit of tension. Hold it. Is this okay? Let me see. Hang on. Let me find you. I, I have I have not painted it. I've just fixed them in a, their proper place because after painting, it's not possible. Some of them are falling out. Hang on. But I, but I feel that one piece is missing. Can you show it one more time? Yeah. Yes, there you go. You said yeah, one piece is... Uh, I think this piece over here, this piece over here, I have got my... This piece over here is missing with the little knob over here. At, Oh, no, yeah. there should be a wooden piece on there. It, there should be. And... It should be one with a round, a round uh, little uh, slot to fit into this. Yeah, it will look like this. It must have fallen around the area. Like, uh, one I fixed, you know, this one I fixed. This one on this side, I don't know where to show. I fixed this one on the right, on the left side, but the right one on the right side is not there. Okay. All right. Um, if any of the pieces are how about, how, about the, how about you, once you're done, even after the session, send me a picture of yeah. your finished product and then I'll share it with all the Olivers and I'll add it in the video when I have the recording set. Um, that <laughs> way we have your, how it looks like in the final product. And Zoya, I want to see yours too, okay? <laughs> Okay. What is this little thing? Is it a butterfly or something over here? I can't see. It's I don't know. I, no. This, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's, okay. it's just. It's, it's, don't think too much into uh, details, Auntie. It's actually very, very simple. Yes. <laughs> I just wanted to put the pieces back so that yes. I won't throw it's away not, the ones. That, uh, you, don't, I just, you, don't away, you don't throw away anything at all. You need every, do not everything, throw anything. Everything will. Everything will go in. Everything will fit in, yes. Okay, okay. Please do not throw anything, okay? Okay. All right. So what I will do, it's 11.59. I want to first and foremost thank Aisha. If we can all give her a round of applause. Thank yes. you so much for doing Thank you. It was thank really you. Fun. Thank you so much. We appreciate your help. Yes. Thank you. And and if anyone has questions for Aisha, please let me know. Text me, and I will forward your request. And I want to see everyone's finished products. Now I'm going to take the attend the put the video back on me, and um, I have a request from um, our board of directors who are uh, having a meeting this afternoon from Olive. If you all have something to say, either requests for something you want, want Olive to do in the future, if you want to say something good about how we're doing and whether you are benefiting from our programs, if you've seen any change, please go ahead and text in the text box right now, in the chat box, 
or you can send me a separate message or you can send a message on Olive Online. There are three ways you can share. A little video would be fine too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a, video. a video message would be fine too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you want, if you want to record the video with me uh, right now, I can. No, actually, that will be challenging. I'm at work, but <laughs> uh, we can. You can send me a quick, short vid video on text. Uh, record yourself for like a few seconds, saying how Olive has benefited you, or if you have any requests or testimonials, anything you would like. Okay, um, Asia, do you have a finished product? You're a fast one. Show me what you have. Right I haven't now. put the salon on yet, but I finished the flower. Very that. nice. Mm -hmm. So you went with two shades. I like that. The yes. red, and like a pinkish. I even like your flat, uh, your leaf colors. Asya, are you missing a piece or you have it? Um, I have it somewhere. Okay, perfect. Anyone else want to share before I... Okay, uh, and just quickly, is any, if anybody is missing a piece, I've made, I have a lot of extra pieces. Let me know and I will get them to you somehow and then you can pass them out. We'll, we'll mail a piece out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can always do that. <laughs> but seriously, Aisha, it was such a pleasure. And I hope when we have in-person sessions, you can bring... Yeah. I'm always so creative with your projects. Uh, Aisha, by the way, is a Girl Scout mom, and that's why we have Girl Scouts Zoya and Asia um, doing such amazing work. Uh, they're working on their silver award right now, which is what? Can you share your silver award, uh, Zoya? We built a bench for a masjid. You built a bench for the masjid. Well, built a bench for Olive Base if you would like to go more. Let us we know. Can put it, yeah, we can look into that. But they, for the Omar Farouk Masjid on their patio, for the mm -hmm. teachers, they made benches and they made planters with the very nice for them to go enjoy their lunches. That's very impressive. I love all the projects you have. I know Sister Hakika has some woodwork expertise in the group, so uh, <laughs> I'm sure she can uh, help. How about some projects of that kind, Sister Hakika? That you, you're always looking for cool projects, so that's a good one. Yes. Building benches. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Anything else, Sister Rabina? I'm going to let you say something if you would like. Before I close the meeting today, no, I want to thank Aisha and thank everybody for participating. I mean, I'm a participant here. I'm, Thanks. I'm happen to be representing Olive, but I'm, I'm truly a participant right now. Okay. thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys like this project. It wasn't, it wasn't too difficult. I hopefully, and it, uh, please so, show me pictures so I can post it. Yes, uh, yes. And, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you again for your time and putting all that little effort in all the little details you put from sandpaper to glue to everything. You took care of everything in that kit. Mm -hmm. It was such a blessing. Thank you, Zena. Thank you for the trip. <laughs> all righty. Take care. So Thank I'm you so much. Bye -bye. Thank you. All of Community Services is a 501c3 nonprofit organization based in Southern California that provides culturally appropriate services to seniors, their family, and the community. Through its physical and virtual interactive programs, Olive engages participants in a variety of ways that promotes health and well being. To learn more about Olive Community Services, to get involved, or to make a donation, please visit www.olivecs.org or email info at olivecs.org. Be a change maker and together, let's live, learn and thrive.